Hey Trevor Brown, it's that time of year again where we're deep into the United Way campaign. Value the Sun United Way is perhaps one of the most important and one of the best uh, community agencies that we work with in Phoenix Union. They do so much good in the community, the money they raise goes to schools, goes to foster care, goes to the construction of new homes in the community. And they actually, their funds provide a safety net for some of the Valley's most vulnerable citizens. We're here today to talk about Trevor Brown's contribution this year. As in years past, we're collecting donations. All of your donations are tax deductible. All of the dollars that you donate to United Way go to a working cause. This year's contact person is Ms. Car Carla Salazar. She's our uh, counseling secretary, does a wonderful job as our senior office assistant in the counseling area. If you're interested in donating to the United Way, please don't hesitate to email uh, Carla Salazar or stop in and see her. You'll see coming from us via email some very specific instructions on how to make that donation. Let's make it a great year. Let's make it a year where Trevor Brown leads the district in United Way donations. Coming to you live from the Day of the Dead event celebration here in the auditorium lobby. And I want to thank these three amazing teachers for putting together this wonderful event. Here I have Ms. Mesa, I have Ms. Fidel, and I have Ms. Baeza. They're going to talk to you a little bit about the importance of the Day of the Dead and today's activity, both culturally and also instructionally. Okay, the Day of the Dead is a very, very important holiday for the Mexican culture, but as well for many Latin American cultures. But in Mexico, that's where they are celebrated the most. I'm going to turn it over to uh, Ms. Fidel at this time. You can see right behind us uh, the largest Day of the Dead altar here uh, is in memoriam to a tremendous campus spirit and influence uh, in memory of uh, Ms. Salas Nina Ayas, who served this community with pride for many years. As you can see, she has the biggest altar. I'd like to turn it over to Ms. Fidel, who also uh, facilitated some wonderful activities in her classes. Thank you very much. And I pretty much want to share a little bit of about how I connected the Day of the Dead with my Spanish 1-2 classes. I teach AP Honors in 1-2, and it was important for me to uh, pretty much inculcate to my students that are non-native speakers uh, the importance of this holiday. And the way that I connected it is that was by creating sugar skulls, and we pretty much uh, did an um, sugar skull made out of sugar, vanilla, and other ingredients, and we decorated it them with frosting to pretty much help my students uh, see the importance of the value of this tradition and um, to make an offering for their loved ones that have passed away so they would see that um, um, this tradition is valuable and so that they can uh, maybe um, at least value uh, the Hispanic heritage that um, we are now trying to um, provide to, to the students. I'll turn over to one of our co-sponsors from Mencha who did a wonderful job helping to facilitate today's uh, activity as well as the performance of some of our dancers, Ms. Baeza. Okay, um, my biggest concern was to, um, Ms. Reyes started this project when she was here as, as the Mencha sponsor and as her co-sponsor, I saw the importance of teaching leadership to our Mencha members and that's really what I, um, I'm proud to see today. All my kids, um, as for our kids, as far as uh, putting this together, they planned it, they made it happen, and um, I'm really proud of them. So the leadership that goes um, on when putting on an event such as this um, really goes to the kids. And that's something that I really wanted to make sure happens because that's what Ms. Reyes started. Um, the dancers did a wonderful job. The other members facilitating each little workshop did a wonderful Job, and we're just also Just another amazing event facilitated by some 